The Forgotten Series, Episode 11. Y'all already know what we're doing, so let's talk about dudes. Welcome to Chapter 11 of The Forgotten Series. Hope you guys are enjoying this because I actually am enjoying making these videos because I'm actually learning about stuff uh, of all these games in my past history of nostalgia because a lot of these games I didn't fully know all about because I was a kid and I just played these things and that was it and I grew up but here I'm diving in deep diving in deep in the trenches boys deep in the trenches so as you read the title you already know what this game is about we're talking about Siphon Filter boy a legit legendary game in my past of uh growing up uh, I don't know this game was hard as shit I don't know if it was just a terrible game or if it was just hard so let's talk about it Psycon filter is he a Psycon or siphon filter It's a third-person shooter action video game series developed by Ben studio formerly analytic let me try that again without the creeps analytic let me try that again without the creeps analytic and published by Sony computer entertainment previously 989 studios for PlayStation and PlayStation 2 and PlayStation portable in the series, Cyclone Filter is a name given to a mysterious biological weapon. And pretty much, it's Gabe, Logan, and Leon who are tasked by the United States government to apprehend a German international terrorist. So, now that we broke it all down, that is legit the synopsis of Cyclone Filter. Let's get into the history of its games. So we had Siphon Filter in 1999. The plot centers on special agents Gabrielle Logan and Liang Zing, who are tasked by the United States government to apprehend an international terrorist named Eric Rahimer. And that game got about a 90 out of 100 on Metacritic. Then we had Siphon Filter 2. Came out in 2000. The plot picks up immediately after where the previous Siphon Filter ended. Gabe sets out to cure the virus while being targeted as a terrorist by the U.S. government. That one got an 81%. Out of Metacritic. Then we had Siphon Filter 3, came out in 2001. Gabe and his team are suspected of treason. Summoned to prove their innocence, the team recounts the incidents that led to this moment. In the background, Gabe moves to rid the world of Siphon Filter once and for all. That one got a 73% in Metacritic. As you can see, it kind of came down, you know, kind of kind of like lowered itself every every year every every release it just got worse and worse or it just didn't get worse it just wasn't as well received gotta always remember think outside the box then we had siphon filter the omega strain that came out in 2004 gabe now commander of the government agency leads global investigation of viral outbreaks in order to stop a deadlier strain of the titular virus from emerging unlike pre unlike previous games the main protagonist is ipca recruit cobra while gabe and leon is appear as supporting NPCs. That one got a 65% on Metacritic. Then we had Siphon Filter Doc Mira came out in 2006. Following a mixed reception of the Omega Strain, Doc Mira is a return to the series roots. Gabe Logan investigates a terrorist incident in an Alaskan oil refinery, only to discover a big conspiracy around the titular Doc Mira. This is the first Siphon Filter developed for the PlayStation Portable, while PlayStation 2 port have removed the multiplayer immature content, but restored the role ability. The Doc Mira got a 87 out of 100 on Metacritic and PSP, and then the port on PS2, because probably because they've removed things, it got a 70 out of 100. Then we had Siphon Filter, Logan Shadow, came out in 2007, and... Serving as a direct sequel to Doc Mira, Gabe receives a mission to retrieve stolen military equipment from Somala pirates while discovering that his partner Zing Zing could be a double agent. And this one came out on the PC PSP and it had an 85 out of 100 on Metacritic. And that is how we're going to end the Siphon Filter mini documentary series. Very brief, very recite, uh, you know, cut cookie cutter base put it into a video, smashed in a sandwich of jelly, because that's it, you know, um, how do you feel about Siphon Filter, is it a game that you think would survive in this climate, or is it just too cliche, because honestly, you could pretty much put Siphon Filter's story next to The Division, and it's kind of the same game, so it probably would not stay, um, because I don't remember it revolutionizing anything, and like I said, it's, you could legit 
fucking put the story in the division with the division shit and it would be siphon filter division mode so i guess maybe it wouldn't survive in this climate because you know maybe it's just overly done but you know for nostalgia wise this is why we make the video do you guys miss this game do you guys wish this game would return with better graphics and stuff like that or you just think this one's dead in the water you know there's nothing more to be said about the story if so, let me know in the comments below how you feel about Siphon Filter. But for now, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like. And as always, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Forgotten Series. God bless and peace.